Today we're going to learn how to create a shape that we're going to make into a gradient mesh. The shape we're going to use is this one and what it represents is a faucet. What I'm trying to do is create a mesh where this gradient is applied to this part of the faucet and follows the shape of this curve. Now the first thing I would do if I didn't know any better would be to just create this shape with the pen tool. So that's what I'll do first. So there's my shape. And I'll color it a different color so you can see that it's something other than what was there already. Now if I go <clears throat> to the mesh tool and I click on the mesh tool and I place points, it gives me this jagged mesh that honestly I just I really can't do anything with. I could try to move these around but it would take forever to try to get these lined up the way I need them to be. So that's not going to work. If I go to object create gradient mesh and let's just say I want I want five rows and I want five columns. Well, that's even worse than the last one. If I want to try to add things to it, it's just terrible. I can't I can't use that to create my mesh that's going to follow this. So, we can completely get rid of that. That's not going to work at all. What will work is using the rectangle tool. I'll start with a rectangle. I'll go up to object, create gradient mesh. I'm going to create one row and three columns. I'm going to move this shift select these two points and move them over at least over to here now select these two points and move this way over to where this to where this top part of the faucet starts to break into that curve right here. Now grab these points. Move them to the corners of the bottom. And let's move these handles. I'm holding down the shift key I'm moving these handles vertically and horizontally. Okay, now grab this point and put it right where this curve starts to break into that horizontal line. Now move it so that it is horizontal and adjust your handles. Now you can adjust this handle so that it follows the shape. And this is going to take a little bit of adjustment here. It's not, it's not perfect to start with. But it can be perfect if you mess with it long enough. Okay, that's pretty good. Now this one, bring it down to where this curve starts to break. Actually, so that it's horizontal with the other breaking point. 
Whoa. That's not the handle I want. This is the handle I want. Okay. Now. This. Line it up with the previous shape. And then move your handles here so that they're horizontal. It may need a little adjustment to get it just right. That needs to come up a little. This needs to come up a little. So now that's horizontal. And that is following the shape pretty well. If I move it off, you can see that it looks pretty much identical to the one that we're trying to achieve. Except that we have these divisions, these mesh divisions that are placed exactly where we want them. Now that we have those, we can use the mesh tool to place my points where I want them on here. I'm going to go back and look at this gradient. This gradient has two ends, of course, and then it has one, two, three, four, five divisions within it. That's, a, that's what I want here as well. So, I'm going to try to place those in the right spots, but I'll probably have to come back and do it again. There's one there, one here, one here, there's a dark one here, and then there's one about here. As you can see, because of the grid that we set up, it's following this line exactly. So now all I have to do is color my points. I'm going to shift select these two points, actually these four points, and I'm going to make it that color, which is 40%. Uh, select these four points, going to make it a 10% black these four a little darker probably 80 these four around a 40 these four quite dark but not quite black so they must be around 90 these four are lighter probably around 30 maybe 20 they're pretty light these on the edge a little darker I'm going to lighten up this one a bit. Oops. I think that's okay. And that's it. If you want to make an outline on this mesh, go to Object. Go to... Oops, sorry. Go to object path offset path make the offset zero and now you have an outline this one is not a gradient mesh so you can make an outline without going through all that that's all there is to it. That way you can get your mesh to follow the shape that you want. Otherwise, you just end up with that mess. And thanks for watching.